What's going on guys, Zach here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a thing called dirtying the frame. Now I know some of you guys are already out there being like, ha ha, I, I, dirty, he said dirty. I'm gonna write some dirty comments cause he said dirty. Maybe I'm the only one who calls it this, but I'll tell you a little bit more about it, explain about the whole process, so stay tuned, let's get into it. Making the frame dirty isn't about like putting dirt onto your lens or shooting something NC-17. It's actually putting something ahead of your lens and, and making the shot look more stylized like this. This tool is like one of the best back pocket tools that you can utilize to make almost any shot just look about 20 to 30% way better. There's three different things I'm gonna talk about in today's episode, how to do it, how to motivate it by story, and then how to motivate it by style. So the first thing about dirtying up the frame is the best ways to do this. So whenever you're out there in a run and gun situation and the shot just doesn't seem dynamic enough, you're doing like a camera move, but you don't get to see the full move because nothing's really moving, maybe it's a really wide shot. Maybe if you're in a park, brush by a tree or maybe brush by like a pole or pipe. And you can do this for all different formats of shooting, everything from an extreme wide to an extreme close up, all of them can utilize a little bit of like frame dirtying to make them more interesting. And the frame doesn't have to always have camera movement. You always have the frame just a little bit dirty to either reveal um, depth within your shot or to maybe establish a character's POV. Let's say you're shooting like an over the shoulder conversation scene, you would have the frame a little bit dirty with someone's shoulder in frame, therefore to kind of show that you're, you're looking from their perspective. You can also make the frame dirty with someone standing, you can do like a cowboy shot, which is kind of like at their waist, their hand is kind of half in the frame. You're basically blocking the shot with something, which leads into how to actually achieve this shot when you have nothing. What I like to do when I go on to shoots is start to kind of scope out the things that I can kind of brush by if the space isn't that interesting. So I'll try and motivate my camera movement to be by either an object or something in the frame. And the nice thing is, let's say if you're shooting on a wider aperture or your camera zoomed in, Basically anything can make your shot look a little bit more stylized and a little bit more dirty. You can even li literally like use like, you can literally like use the sleeve of your shirt and let it just kind of dangle. <laughs> this looks so weird, I know. You can literally just use this and just kind of brush by it and that'll even make things look more interesting. So I've got you now, you're like, oh, I love dirtying up the frame. It's a really cool method. Well, all methods should have motivation and motivation should always link to the story and to serve the characters and the purpose of the movie. So let's talk a little bit about that and how dirtying up the frame can also motivate certain stylistic aspects. One of the biggest and most common ones that filmmakers just used to utilize was to make it seem like someone was watching. So they'd shoot through the bushes. And if you have like more of a handheld vibe and you kind of shoot through things, it's gonna feel like you're, you're watching it as like a creepy person and you're observing something. So just make sure when you're doing this type of shot, if that's not the vibe you wanna do, I would say don't super dirty up the frame with a bunch of stuff. And also don't give it that handheld vibe, like someone's being creepy and looking out on, on stuff. Another big story motivator is obviously like what I was talking about before, but if you're, you have a character within a scene and they're observing something, have their shoulder in the shot, you can have like the back of their head even, the top of their head, and it can be like a stylistic like POV type thing too. If you wanna immerse your audience in the character's feelings, maybe you can get them to dirty up the frame to a certain extent, or maybe the characters are feeling a little more claustrophobic and you can put all this stuff in the foreground and make them seem super tight in the frame. So there's a lot of things you can do that motivate the story as well. Dirtying up the frame is a great technique, not only to utilize on the beginner scale when you're starting out just trying to like beef up your B-roll, but it's also amazing to motivate aspects part of your story. So I'd say it is a super duper important tool on your filmmaking tool belt. And that is it, you guys. If you like this video and want to take a look at some more, I highly recommend taking a look at that Premium Beat YouTube page. There's amazing content from some super incredible creators. If you like us that much, you can hit that subscribe button, like this, and Write in the comment section below if you have any ideas about the dirtying up frame method and don't, I ugh, do not do dirty comments or make fun of me for saying this. this is what I call it. Also correct me if I've been calling it wrong. I would love to know the proper terminology so I don't sound super weird when I'm on set. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video and keep making some great stuff.